Hi there. Look at all the things that I have here on my desk there. Aren't there a lot of things here? You know, we've been talking about flowers, haven't we? We talked about the flower producing seed. Remember when we looked into the one of the little cups of the flower, the dead flower, and looked at where the seeds first started? Well, today I have a whole lot of seeds here of a lot of different things. Some are flowers and some are vegetables that we grow in our gardens. And let's just take out some of these vegetables and put them here on the paper and see what the seeds look like, should we? All right. Now, on the front of each package of seed is a picture of what the flower or the vegetable will look like after it's full grown. And on the front of this one, do you know what these are? They're red and we eat them. They're radishes. Let's just dump out some of these radish seeds right here and see what a radish seed looks like. Here they are right here on this corner and they're just very, very tiny. Well, I can hardly pick one up between my fingers. Here they are right here. See how tiny they are? And I'm going to lay the, the package of seeds right there above me so that we know that these are the radish seeds. And then I have another package of seeds right here. Do you know what this is? This is something that we eat too. We eat it in salad. And it's green and it's lettuce. That's right. Let's step out some of the lettuce seeds and see what they look like. Oh, look how tiny they are. They're very tiny, aren't they? If we put them all together, we can see them very well, but if they're apart, they're very tiny. And I'm going to lay the package down right here on top of them, so that I'll know that these are the lettuce seeds. And these, these aren't anything we eat at all, because these are flowers. These are zinnias. And we can plant zinnias right now. So let's dump out some of these zinnia seeds right here and see what they look like. Oh, they're a little bigger, aren't they? They're the biggest ones that we've seen so far. And I'll put this right here so I know that these are the zinnia seeds. And then there are some more packages right down here. Do you know what these are? These are yellow beans. And they have much bigger seeds. Look, I'll show you some. See how big they are? They're great big ones, aren't they? And I'll just lay them right there. And then here is something else that we all like to eat, especially in the summer. We cook them and put lots of melted butter on them. Do you know what this is? It's an ear of corn, and an ear of corn has big seeds, too. See? Here are the corn seeds, right here. And now we've looked at some different seeds, and probably, if your mothers and fathers have put in their gardens already, maybe you've helped them plant these seeds, have you? Well, maybe some other ones then. But I thought it might be rather fun today to plant a garden right here and now. And perhaps you've helped your mother and father plant plant their garden so you'll know some more things about them. But I have a great big indoor garden right here and I'd like to tell you about it because maybe you don't have a place in your yard or maybe you don't have a place around wherever you live to make a garden. So I'd like to tell you how you can make one right at home. You can make one in a box. Did you know that? Whether it's an orange crate or a peach crate or no matter what kind of a box it is, you can still make a garden. And I have a big wooden box right here that I'm going to plant a garden in. Right here so that you can watch me. And in the bottom of these box, there are, of this box, there are some holes. You see the holes in there? And the holes are in there so that after we put the dirt in, and when we water the, the garden, the water can run down through the dirt and come out a little bit through these holes so that we won't drown the roots of the little plants. But well, we wouldn't want water all over the floor or all over the table where we're keeping a little garden, would we? So I have some old pieces of brick and tile right here, and I can place them over the holes in the box. Now, the water can still run out. The dirt can't get out, though. That's what these little rocks are for, to keep the dirt in the box, but it lets the water run through just a little bit anyway. So I'm going to cover up all the holes just like this, and then over here I have big bucket full of dirt and I'm going to fill up the box with nice black dirt. Now if you're making a garden outside, you have, you'd have to spade it up and dig it up, wouldn't you? You know why I do that? That's to make the dirt nice and loose 
Well, you can see as I'm pouring the dirt in this box here how nice and loose it is, can't you? Well, outside, we wouldn't have to pour the dirt into anything, so we'd need to take a spade or a shovel and just dig it up so it's nice and loose like this. Because if the ground is all packed down hard, the little seed would have a hard time growing. Because you know it's a lot of work for them anyway to, to push up through all the, all the dirt and come out above the ground. Oh, well, here we go, filling it up. And probably you won't want to bring a bucket of dirt inside the house like this, but you can, you can take your box outside, maybe in a vacant lot or somewhere you could find a lot of nice dirt to dig up and put in the box. And I'm just using a glass jar to fill my little garden box with here, and it takes a little while, but if you used a, a bigger bucket or maybe a pan from the kitchen, it wouldn't take you so long to fill up the box. Now we have it almost full, but I want to put a lot of dirt in there so that you can see exactly what's going to happen when we do get all the dirt in there. So here we go. I think maybe one more or two more. I think we'll put two more jars full of dirt in, and then we can kind of smooth it off like this. You know, after you spade your garden outside, you have to rake over it, don't you, to break up the big dirt clogs and everything. There, maybe this is, well, we'll put one more in, just for an extra measure for it. Right in there. And then I'm going to smooth it all out so that the dirt fits right nicely down into all the corners. You know, besides being fun planting seeds, it's kind of fun to play in the dirt too, isn't it? So push it all out along the edges like that. Now it's all nice and flat on top, but you notice I didn't pat it down, did I? Just running my fingers very lightly over it like this. And then we're ready to plant the seeds. So the first thing we want to do is decide what seeds we want to plant first of all. Which ones that we looked at do you think we should plant? Well, this package right here has such a nice pretty red color on it. Maybe we should plant the radishes first, okay? And you know, on the back, there's a lot of printing back here. And it tells us just how to plant these seeds. And I'm going to read it to you and tell you what it says on the back here. It says to plant in rows that are about a foot apart. Now, of course, this means when we're planting out of doors, we want to have one row here and one row way over there. But since we're planting them inside, we can just make one row down here and the next thing that we plant, we can put a little bit closer to it. But it says to plant them so that when you cover the seeds up, they're covered with one half inch of dirt. Now, a half of an inch is just about right there. So that's just how deep we want to make the roll. So with my hand right here, I'm going to press down in the dirt and make a roll. Can you see roll? And that's where the seeds are going to be, right in this row. And then I'm going to take the radish seed and I'm going to Sprinkle them all down the road. See them? Oh, there's a lot of nice little radish seeds in there. Just like that. And then so that I'll remember where the row is, I'm going to stick a pencil right here at one end of the row, and I'm going to stick another one down here at the other end of the row. That's before I cover them up so I can remember where the rows are. Now let's cover them all up because they have to be covered, you know, so they won't get cold. The ground helps to keep them warm besides feeding the little seeds. So we'll cover them all up and we can't see them anymore. And then on the directions of the package too, it says to pat them down. So I'll just run down this row with my fingers like this and pat it down. Now then, we can plant something else in this little flower box too. And we're going to plant it over here. But how do you suppose we can remember what was planted in this row? Well, I'll tell you something that we can do. There's still some seeds left in here. Can you hear them? Well, I don't want to throw away the whole package, so I'm going to tear the package in half, just like this. And the seeds, then, are in this bottom part right here. And then I can fold that up and make a little tiny envelope out of it so the seeds won't come out. And I can save these seeds and perhaps use them later on. 
But then this top part still has the picture of the radish on it. And so that I can stick it right down over the little stick here. And I can remember from this that radishes are planted in this row. Should we plant something else? Let's plant flowers this time, shall we? All right. Here is the package of zinnia seeds. And it's not too late to plant zinnia seeds even right now so that you could plant these outdoors and they would still bloom later on in the summer and in the fall. But the directions on the back of the zinnia seeds tells us to plant them so that when we cover them up, the dirt will be one-fourth of an inch. Well, now one-fourth of an inch is just a little bit smaller than, than a half an inch, so we won't want to make this row very deep at all, will we? We just make a little row down here with the side of our hands like this. There we are. And now we can sprinkle the zinnia seeds in. If all of these seeds will grow, when they get bigger, we'll have to pull some of them out because there won't be room for all of the big plants in here. But we'll just plant them in there, and now we'll cover them up just like this, pushing the dirt from side to side right towards the middle. Oh my goodness, we almost forgot to mark them. Well, I better hurry up and stick these stickers in right now so I won't forget where this row of genius is going to come up. There we are. And then we can do the same thing by tearing off the top of the seed package just like this. And I can put it right down over this little peg and I'll know that seniors are going to grow there. Now, we have two of the things that flowers need to grow. We have dirt. That's where they get some of their food, you know. And there's a lot of air in this dirt because we put it in very loosely, didn't we? And every day we'll probably want to take a fork or our finger, or if it's in a garden, we'll take a hole and loosen up the dirt so that the air can get down to the little plant. And that's two of the things, dirt and air. And here is the, something else that flowers need, and that's water. Now, we don't want to just pour water on like this because you see it only went in one spot. We want to sprinkle it all over. See? Just sprinkle it if we had a sprinkling can, or you know what else you could use on a little house box like this would be your mother's clothes sprinkler. I'll bet she'd let you use it for a sprinkling can. And then the water will soak all into the dirt here, and the little seeds will have water too, and that's something very important for them. Not only do they need dirt to get their food from and air in the dirt, but they need water. We should water them probably every day. But there's something else that the little seeds need, too. After they come up, they will be sprouting down here all in a row. They're going to need sunshine. So we can put them in a window or take them out and set them in the sunshine. I hope that you have a very good time when you plant your little gardens.